Good morning, folks. We've got looks at the sun, a potential CME glancing blow to Earth coming Friday or Saturday, a peek at the major sunspot group as well, and three articles that dive deep and confirm critical topics that observers have seen before. Let's start with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find the sun was actually pretty quiet. No solar flares, even from the large sunspot group. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are quiet as well. If you recall, yesterday morning we showed the filament attached to that active region released, and this morning we've got the endless spiral showing a potential glancing blow from that CME in a day or two. This would be a minor event, with low-level geomagnetic unrest as the maximum possible impact. Let's take a quick peek at that sunspot group. It is gnarly looking for sure, big, but still maintains its relatively simple magnetic setup. The minor mixing in the middle is of small and underdeveloped umbra, while the main cores remain well split, leaving us without significant flaring from the group, only about another day of it directly threatening Earth as an eruption threat. We're kicking off the articles with one on the major cold weather changes and the resulting crop losses and famine in the 1600s due to the Maunder Grand Solar Minimum. Good confirmation of how that event dramatically impacted the atmosphere and how that dramatically impacted humans at the time. Up next, a paper that describes how important ozone levels have been in terms of climate forcing over time as well. The impacts range from jet stream modulation to Hadley circulation changes, precipitation patterns changing, and an impact on global temperatures. This is an important concern, not only since Earth's weakening magnetic field is expected to allow for more ozone destruction in the coming years, but because we are also expecting the sun's millennial super flare to occur in the coming years as well. This paper describes the impact of such a phenomenal outburst, including a major particle-driven loss of the protective layer that is still present a year after the event. The concepts of solar impact to ozone and the resulting impact on climate are not new, but these papers firmly solidify those previous papers we've seen and complement one another through the lens of what Earth and Sun are currently experiencing and expected to see in the next few years. We greatly appreciate your support. Check out the resources listed below the video in the description box. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.